Greetings, my name is Setrez, and this is going to be the first episode of our Minecraft SSP survival single player. And this will be the first series on this channel, so pretty excited for it. I've been wanting to dedicate myself to a survival single player for a while and make like, I guess a channel dedicated to making a uh, beautiful single player about sort of technicalities as well. That is why this channel's motto is technical made beautiful. <laughs> I think that's a pretty, pretty statement in itself. We're gonna head over to that mountain and uh, mine some resources. Uh, I just need to find where I dropped my crafting bench. There we go. So my main goal for this channel is to grow it. <laughs> I've been wanting to make a channel that I grow a following with. Whee! And I'm hoping this will be the one. That's not good. That's a glitch texture, I think. Poppies look fine. Dandelions just look a little funky. Those are chickens. And chickens are pretty important to... food because we can make an auto chicken farm. But we don't have the resources to make an auto chicken farm at this point. So that's kind of what the heck is a zombie? Is there already a cave like right here? I decided to give up. I dug a dug a good amount and uh my pickaxe is breaking a little bit. And since my main goal is to go over here to get this coal, I figured I didn't want to break my pickaxe trying to find a cave. <laughs> but yes, once we get this coal, we will start to make kind of a starting hut. <sighs> First line of action. What should we do? We should probably make some kind of farm, right? So we should probably make a wheat farm first. One, the seeds are really easy to get. Two, we can make a farm out of both sheep and cows. Three, doesn't take too much to make, we just need iron for the bucket. And we really don't even need iron if we make it on an area such as here. Which is going to be a neat, decent starter base. So what we're going to do is I actually need more wood. I don't think birch wood would look good for a bridge. At least I've never been that good at building with birch wood. So we're going to take down this tree, and the way I want to do this is I want to make an oak bridge that spans that gap. Into here. Yuck. <laughs> Oh, that's really gross. Give this a quick second. 
Here we go. Hi, squid. My little squid buddies. It's pretty cute. So. Thankfully, we can start making stone pickaxes and everything. There we go. I think we'll start by tilling this right here. We actually don't have any seeds yet. We might want to grab some. I wonder where we can find some grass. Hey yo, there's some grass over here. We have eight seeds, and we only have eight blocks tilled right now. But I do kind of want to work on tilling more. Maybe till up 12? We could even go for 16 since water blocks spread through. Water blocks will irrigate four farmland blocks. Sugarcane isn't that bad. Ooh, sheep. Shame we don't have the iron for it right now. I guess we'll kill three. Sheep drop one wool per death. That's why shears are a lot more efficient for wool gathering because you can gather one multiple per use and the shears don't kill the sheep. It's not going to be the prettiest thing, but we're going to dig into the side of this hill right here. Jeez, I just hear so many zombies. Oh, my mistake. We had 15 tilled. Or 10 at the time. <clears throat> now we have 15. Perfect. That looks good for now. I do you want some light though? For now we're just gonna do that. There we have it. This is going to be the location of our starting base. Hello. That's pretty cool if I do say so myself. We'll dig past this. We're just going to use all our sticks to make torches right now. we shall dig further inwards. I don't really utilize the offhand slot too much. I played a lot of pre-offhand. I think we will separate this little starting base into three sections. We can have storage, which we'll have in this section right here. This will be the bedroom. go ahead and sleep. I am going to chop down some birch wood. I do like the look of birch wood. Typically indoors. There we go. Whew! That gave me quite the jump. We're going to be able to create 72 wood out of this. No, that's a lie. A stack in 1276. My bad. 
We'll take that crafting bench with us. We are going to dig these back. Whoops, did not mean to dig that block right there back, but that is okay. So one coal smelts eight items. We'll smelt 32 for now. A plank smelts one and a half. A stick smelts a half. Not sure about crafting benches. Saplings smelt a half of an item. And I'm not sure about chests either. So if one chest, one plank smelts one and a half items, and we have eight planks to make a chest. That should have smelted 12, but instead it smelted one and a half as well. Crafting bench also looks like one and a half. Yep. Spooky noises. So now we have 24 blocks to use. Since it's the roof, it doesn't really matter what if we use a whole or half blocks. And in this chest section, it's especially important that we do use half blocks. I'm not exactly sure what the new crafting recipe for chiseled stone is. I believe it's actually this. Yep. Hello. How are you? <laughs> okay. We're going to continue with the uh, cobble behind the chests theme. Because that doesn't look too bad. Because cobble has a lot of texture to the block. Whereas chests don't have a ton of texture to their block. So I feel like it provides a nice contrast. All right, we have one row of chests right there. We shouldn't need much more than 19 for our starting area. You think I might need eighteen, which is perfect. There we go. So I want a defining column block to separate the cobblestone from the rest of the room because I don't want the rest of the room to be cobblestone. Now, what would be an amazing block right now is acacia wood, or acacia. This texture pack adds some very subtle variations to standard textures, like it adds the little bit of leaves right there, and I like it a lot. The texture pack, by the way, is faithful 32-bit. The original author has not updated the uh, texture pack to 1.12 but it looks like some fans have carried on with it. I want them to add in calamari. That would be pretty nice. So, we need two of these and then two of these. Each stick smelts half a block. Whereas two blocks, I guess that's not very efficient, is it? So if 
two wood planks makes four sticks. Two wood planks can smelt three items, whereas four wood sticks can only smelt two items. That is not very efficient, so I kind of just wasted some wood there. Or like, I should say I wasted some fuel power, maybe. So we need six more chests. And there we have it. I thought I saw a savanna biome over... That's nice too, the dark oak wood. Let's see. Did we venture off in this direction for the grass? We did. Hmm. Oh, they added in the dandelion puffs. That wasn't a uh, glitch texture. That's actually pretty cool. So, we shall see. Where the savanna biome is. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Right there. Okay. Oopsies. Okay, we're all good. <laughs> we are here. I love the look of acacia logs. Or acacia. I'm gonna look up the pronunciation after this episode. One of my least favorite things about savannah trees is the fact that the higher up branches are sometimes difficult to reach. I would like to skip that problem altogether by um, parkouring up to the top. It's not quite a stack, but it's decent enough, I think. We can head back. And there we go. Our chest area looks magnificent. I think it will do an underlaying of cobblestone. How's that look? That does not look too shabby. We are going to smelt another 32. And really at this point we're just waiting on that. Although I don't like how this merges with the ceiling so easily. Hmm. So I'm gonna gather up a bunch of this andesite because I love how polished andesite looks. And we can probably use it as the block that separates the stone from the stone. <laughs> Since you can't convert the blocks back to how they originally were, I like to be somewhat careful. And notice how I am going to try and go for somewhat an asymmetrical design. Because I've been building symmetric, uh, 
symmetrically all the time that I've been playing Minecraft, so... That actually works out. I put that block there as a kind of a headstone for the doorway. There we have it. We have our little little area to ourselves. Now we just wait for this to finish up. So we just need to wait on three of those and I gotta think of what kind of door that I want to put right here. I feel like a dark oak door would look nice. Oh, we need spiders actually, but we do not need creepers. Hello, creeper. Come into the water with me, sir. There we go. So creepers are in water, they don't inflict uh, inflict explosive damage on the environment. Hello. I might die here. Lack of food. Hello, zombie. How are you doing, friend? And there's the skeleton up there. I'm going to eat some rotten flesh because I do want to continue the night, but I don't want to die. I like that. Hello, Mr. Zombie. So for now, I'm going to dump my inventory, but I will sort it at some point. Is it turning daytime? Good. I am back, skeleton. Oh! Wow. Well then that was a bit too close for comfort. Skeleton over there. Skeleton up here. I really would like to go out for more string. But I don't think that's a smart idea. I do hear a spider though. There we go. Spiders can't fit through one block gaps. So I'm going to take advantage of this. Although he has climbed up there a little bit. And there we go. The reason I want the string is to create an AFK fish farm. Which will allow us to make a lot of progress. However, I think that we've made a ton of progress in this one episode. So I'm going to leave it at that. I hope this was a good first video for the channel and there will be much more from me. So if you feel like subscribing, go ahead and do so because it'll keep you updated and it'll also help me build my follower base. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next one.